Hello, hopefuls. What should you be doing with your time? This is another excerpt from my book, Untether Your Boat. I have a friend who was an evangelist, not a professional evangelist, mind you, but he would spend the weekends hanging out around bars during the nights to hand out tracts and pray with people. One day, he accused me of neglecting the work of God by not joining him. I politely, as much as it lieth with me, instructed him that my work in the kingdom was that of teaching. Get them saved and bring them to me, I said, nicely. I will teach them about the Bible because that's what feels most important to me. Paul describes it in the Bible as gifts. In 1 Corinthians 7 verse 7, Paul says, But every man hath his proper gift of God, one after this manner and another after that. In his discussion on gifts in the 12th chapter, he says, The foot shall say, Because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. In other words, what Paul's saying is, Because you don't have someone else's gift doesn't mean you aren't valuable. And just because someone doesn't have your gift doesn't mean they aren't valuable. God put the parts of the body just the way he wanted so all the work would get done. Living in peace with others requires we accept this truth. If we insist that our view of values and priorities is the only way to see the world, we will be that eye telling the hand that it's out of line, undesirable, or even worthless to the kingdom. We end up being the one that's out of line, judging our brother or sister based on our own opinion. <laughs>